This is Jaden Rudd. Two and one to Rudd. He hits one hard in the left field. That's a base hit. Scoring is Ward. Scoring is Sweeney. Rudd to second. Got the double. 5-3 Great Britain. Just keep on playing. You never know what might happen. Told everybody who said, hey, congratulations for getting there. Don't want to hear it. We want to win it. And they do! Swing and a miss! God save the king! Great Britain has done it! Look, I wouldn't be surprised if you were quick to assume that baseball in Britain was minimal, if not non-existent. But with Great Britain qualifying for the World Baseball Classic for the first time this year and subsequently getting their first win against Colombia, as well as the U23s reaching the final of their European Championships this August, it's safe to say baseball as a British entity is on the rise. On top of this, the popularity of the MLB is growing here in the UK, as we can see the continued success of the MLB London series. The London series, well, they are coming from all parts of the globe. St. Louis and Chicago have made themselves seen here in London. And then there's the locals who are learning the game and learning to love it as well. With over 100,000 fans showing up across both games at the London Stadium, the match on Saturday was set an MLB season high attendance record of 54,622 spectators, was beaten the next day as 55,565 fans rocked up to see the Cardinals beat the Cubs in a close affair 7-5. With the series planned to return and take place in 2024 and 2026, the MLB will be hoping to take advantage of the growing fandom across the British Isles. Yet despite this, we still don't have a British-born player in the MLB. While two of the other major sports in the US have British athletes competing in the MFL, the likes of London-born Julian Okawara and Scott Graham Gano both competed at the highest level of their sport. Connecting from 63 yards out. While in the NBA, former champion OG Ananobi was born in London before he went on to play a role in the Toronto Raptors 2019 championship. And Tosin Aroma was recently drafted out of Princeton, in which Aroma played a crucial role, even leading the team in points, but as the 15th seed, they upset second seed Arizona during March Madness. That win started a run which saw them reach the Sweet 16. To find a British-born player who played more than 10 games in the MLB, we have to look back to 20 years ago, when Lance Painter appeared in 22 games for the Cardinals as a relief pitcher. Painter had a 10-year professional career in which he pitched 450 innings and amassed a win rate of just over 50%. To find an All-Star, that dates all the way back to 1952, when Bobby Thompson made his third and final All-Star appearance. Thompson is the only British player to ever play in an All-Star game. He also accounts for 264 of the 457 home runs scored by players born in Great Britain. There are only two other British-born players that had hit more than 20 home runs in their career. Tom Brown, who played from 1882 to 1898, and Hope Ferris, who played between 1901 and 1909. However, Unbeknown to most, baseball in Britain expands past just the international and professional game. The British Baseball Federation, which was set up in 1987, oversees several leagues, ranging from the National Baseball League, which includes six teams based in London, Hertfordshire, Sheffield and Essex, as well as the AAA level, AA and single-A baseball on a regional level. The season runs from April to September every year, culminating national playoffs for all the levels. It was just before their run to a single-A national title for this year that I visited Cardiff Merlin's baseball club to understand more about what baseball in Britain was truly about. My first takeaway was the commitment from everyone involved. Set up in the middle of the Pontacana fields in Cardiff, competing for car parking spaces with a hundred at Sophia Gardens, as well as those filing in for other recreational sports on a Sunday, wheeling their equipment and trolleys from cars to carefully built mound and bay paths, before setting up the foul lines, home run fences and everything else they need. Players act as ground crew for the setup, trainers during the warp, and finally putting in all the work they get to throw out the first pitch and get underway. But showing up was just the first step. The dynamics of the game only grew and drew in attention of the passer buyers, who would occasionally stop and watch while on a run or walking the dog. The Merlins, at this point, were top playing to secure home field advantage in the playoffs. Two brilliant games of a doubleheader just showed the commitment to the game and winning both sides had. And even though it started to rain, they weren't going to let that stop proceedings. Something the BBF umpire, Jose Chavez, identified as being unique to British baseball. That here, players insist to play when raining. While we don't do that. <laughs> As the day came to a close, it was just a fifth inning stand that saw the Merlins overturn a 5-2 deficit to lead 7-5 going to the top of the final inning, eventually dispatching the Bristol Buccaneers 7-6. It was here 
the true passion for the game started to come through. Not only did the benches grow louder with each run and out, but how supportive each team was each other, celebrating each individual's wins and losses, coming together through their love of baseball. Something not unique to baseball, but a quality of grassroots sports that can sometimes be lost on the professional level. This passion is what drives the players, and according to American player Griffin Philippi, it is even greater than what can be found across the pond. There's like the levels of passion here, like, because, you know, it's not ingrained in the culture like football is. So everyone who comes out to play baseball is like really into it. And you can just feel like the atmosphere at games here is like a lot of times even higher than it is in America because people aren't taking it for granted here, you know? And it was in the regional semi-final that I witnessed this passion really come through. My whole experience at Cardiff was a real eye-opener for why baseball lovers like Romanian international Claudia Bobok seek it out wherever they can. I was just looking on Facebook and I just find Cardiff. So I was thinking like, it's really hard. Yeah, when you fell in love with baseball, you can't stop. Just stop playing now, chance. A Brit, a Romanian and a Bangladeshi walk onto the baseball field and it sounds like the start of a corny overheard joke. It couldn't be further from that. The passion and care they have for each other is second to none and it truly opened my eyes to what baseball in Britain is slowly becoming. It's the commitment to care that I believe is increasing the level of the teams here in the UK. From the national team, on the world stage, to the depths of the minor league benches. Everyone is there because they want to be and because they care, and that's what makes it beautiful.